hate cameras. I can't figure out where this is. <sighs> the videotography was not my best class. Actually, that was like half of everything in school. Welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations. Today we are going to be doing another art product review. Um, I've been doing more of uh, markers and stuff, but I will be doing um, watercolor coming up. I'm hoping to do some comparisons of like, <laughs> I think one of my one, one of my plans for coming up is a uh, dollar store watercolor versus my uh, Windsor & Newton watercolor and we'll see how that goes. But for today on Weekly Art Inspirations, we are going to be doing a review of, as the video says, Fiber Castile, which I'm not sure if that's how you say it, that's how I've always heard it. So we're gonna go with it. But I have quite a few actually of Fiber Castile. Fun fact, it was actually one of the first markers as an artist I ever used. Um, at which, because I've had the, I've actually had this set for probably around eight years, and they, I still use them, so that's actually going to play into this, is I actually have owned these for quite a long time, done quite a bit of art with them, so um, I've already been running the numbers, I'd like you to know that for you guys, I do run numbers on how much stuff is, and it is a lot harder than you think, and that is just because I'm not uh, very math oriented artist brain don't do very much math in my free time. But with that said, we are going to get right into it. I'm not sure what we're going to do art-wise with them. I haven't really decided that yet. So by the time we get over to my little desk back there, we will have a decision on what we're going to be doing. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell notification uh, so you can be updated of the newest weekly art inspirations. If you guys have any things you'd like me to try or you see me use um, or any videos you just want me to do, please comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like in future videos, but for the moment we're going to get right into it. At the end of the video, so that any of you who are new and those who know, at the end of the video I'll go over cost and we are doing it comparative to Copic. They're kind of our baseline for most of it. I am planning that in the future we are going to have a video where we will do a baseline that is every marker challenge. So every marker that I own, which will be um, all the ones that I've tried, we're going to see if I'll get any other um, brands of marker, but yeah. so. Let's get into it. So one of the things I realized last time is I kind of just went over a quick overview of this and I did it in a quick video. I can't remember what it's called. Whatever that is. If you want to comment below what it is and correct me, feel free. Um, but I have some different types of paper here to try out. Um, and one of the things is I'm trying to do a few di that was my phone that buzzed by the way. Um, what I'm gonna do here and why I do this is because um, for anyone who knows using markers and for those who don't know, you have to kind of know how a marker is gonna work on different paper. And some people like working with markers on specific types of paper. So just as a comparison, this is a dead marker. <laughs> okay, so we won't be using the red Copic. So this is a good yellow Copic um, and the color it can do. And then this is the yellow fiber Castile. And I, I'll go into this in the video as well, but a lot of what I already know from working with fiber Castile is the fact that it is a little bit um, less forgiving. Uh, with with Copic, it's a lot more like watercolor. With these, it's more like a very stiff uh, marker where you're going to see more lines to it, whereas Copic kind of blends together or even any of the other um, markers a lot of times blend more than Fiber Castile will. Um, so again, if we were going to do, let's do the brush tip. So this is the brush tip of this one. And then this is a cross hatch on there and that's Copic. Then we'll get out our Fiber Castile. 
and that's not working super well. And like I said, a few of these are my really old brushes. So let's see if the blue will do us any better. Okay, that's what it should look like. And it's a little bit, it's a very small brush. You're not gonna get the same benefit of having the uh, broad tip that you can use. So that's one of the other things to note about these. Whereas with this, where with the Copic or a lot of other alcohol markers, you're gonna have two ends that you can use. Um, the Fiber Castile does not conform, does not do that. And so that's one thing to note. If you're gonna be buying Fiber Castile um, and going on to this, <laughs> I, the, one of the hard things with doing these videos is a lot of them I only use a certain type of marker <laughs> and for anyone who's watched my other videos, for those who don't know, I love Uhu markers and so that's why if you see that a lot of my Copics don't work, <laughs> it's because I use Uhu markers <laughs> and so a lot of times I don't actually use these, that's why I only have a few that still are in working order. Um, I actually haven't bought Copics for probably about six years. Um, these Copics that I have here are all quite old. Same as these Fiber Castile, the, a few of these that still work and are still quite good, like this one right here, I've had these for at least six years, if not more. Um, and I, these are the first markers I used, and I think you can do interesting art with them. Um, just because, like anything, you can have the crappiest materials, but if you know how to use them well, it doesn't really matter. So, I mean, if you like Fiber Castile, that's great. For me, I move towards more of a watercolor effect, um, but I think you can still do great art with these. So, we will get into using these to create art, and I'm probably going to try out a few more to make sure which of these do and do not work. I do have liners um, in size B. Uh, I did for quite a long time use these as my only liners and then I found my um, Japanese uh, or Chinese brush ink brush pen thing that I really love and so that's now my main lining tool. But this used to be, these Fiber Castile um, Pure Black B size were m almost always what I used. So anyways with that said, let's get into it and let's go. So if we're going to be really honest, I didn't really have a direct plan on what I was going to do. I went for a fairy just because it's something that I kind of, I gravitate to more fantasy type things and so I was like, you know what, this works, we're going to be using a lot of really deep colors and that's what I wanted to do in this is once I got it sketched out, I do not have any flesh tones and I decided to just kind of go for it. In my older sketches that I used these for when I was just starting out, um, with markers, I would do really bright colors, and I actually still really love doing, with especially Fiber Castell markers, doing really bright colors. I think it turns out really fun, and doing a lot of layers makes it look really, really cool and adds great shadows. Okay, guys, so now that we have this finished, let's pick it up. Now that we have this finished, um, it was very fun to work on this. I had a lot of fun doing this. It reminded me a lot of when I started out doing art and I actually did way more. I didn't know about Copic. I didn't really know about any of the markers. And it's only been recently that I've really started to use more markers. But I used to use these all the time. And so that's where kind of I know a little bit of how to use these. They honestly... So overall, my review of them is they're a perfectly good marker to use. The only thing is you have to get used to the fact that unlike pop, pop, <laughs> Copics, you're not going to have the same blame, blending as much and the colors are going to usually be a lot brighter. So if you like the really bright look that you can get through these, that's great. But a lot of times it's going to be that you're going to be getting a very dark look. You're going to get a lot of, if you can see on here, there's a lot of lines. You can see the individual lines I did. Whereas with Copic, you can kind of hide that, which is what's nice about them. So there is that. Now we're going to go into pricing, which... So, let us get into numbers. The numbers that we have, 
which <laughs> I'm sorry I can't keep that up so because I'm finishing that um, my inspiration for these glasses which will now be showing up every time we do a um, review video where I go over numbers for you mostly because of the markers and Copic markers versus fiber Castile um, I just wanted to do this because I love salty crafter um, on Nerdy Crafter's channel. I'll have a link above in the cards that you can click to go check out the cha her channel if you haven't seen it. Absolutely not affiliated. I just love her work. And so I wanted to let you guys know about her. Great channel to go check out. But with that said, one of the things we need to go over, so individually, how much is this marker of Fiber Castile going to cost you versus a Copic marker gonna cost you? So, the price range for those are going to be, so for each individual, if we're doing, I'm basing this off of Hobby Lobby, um, because that's where I buy a lot of my art supplies. Um, so Hobby Lobby is $4.49 for these, for individual pens from them, versus $6.99 is what I paid for this one, but I went online and I found out that they are now $7.99 per Copic. So this is actually not correct. <laughs> From what I can tell, this is no longer correct on what Copic markers cost. So your price difference on that, hold on, let me pick up. I literally had to go write this down, guys, because this is like, I don't do math. I think that should be some, <laughs> meh, sound like I said math. Math, math friends. <laughs> um, so the difference is, price difference for those is around two to three dollars per pen. So that's about pay so each pen you buy that's a fiber castile, that is the between these two, that is a difference of a two to three dollars, depending on where you're buying them from, whether it's online or whatever, Hobby Lobby, two to three dollar difference versus so fiber castile is two to three dollars less than Copic. And I will admit that at least for these, it might not seem worth it because these ones do have um, a little bit less that you can do with them, I would almost say. So they might, again, it's your preference on what you like drawing with, um, but there is still a 2 to $3 difference um, on these. So the other thing I did price difference wise is there is a set where you can get a set of Fiber Castile markers um, in different color variations, um, primary colors, and it would be six markers for, where's my paper, where's my paper, I have a lot of papers on my desk right now, um, let's see here, where is it, where is it, okay, so a set of Fiber Castile markers, I went online to look them up because when I bought my set it was at least seven years ago, six years ago, like I said, numerous times on this video now. And so the price difference is for set currently at the moment is $21.99. They are on sale on, um, sorry, my mustache. Um, they are on sale on Hobby Lobby for $13.99. I didn't really do that because I'm pretty sure they're just doing it for holiday coming up. Um, so if it is $13.99, you're going to be saving a lot more to buy a Fiber Castile for six of them, then Copic is $54.99 to get six Copic markers. I know there are a lot of artists who really, really, really love Copic markers, and that's great if you do, but I can't pay for something like that. That's just so expensive for an art product. Um, and so that is, so price difference, six you, the difference in money wise of that so six fiber castile you could buy two to almost two and a half sets of fiber castile six markers compared to one set of copics guys that's just expensive it just doesn't need to be no marker should be this expensive just saying you can believe what you want guys you re you really but it's really really expensive so make your own decision what you want I've given you the information um, in in short terms the difference between a Copic and a um, fiber Castile marker simply is 
this is three dollars to two to three dollars less single it is almost thirty-four dollars or thirty-two thirty-two to thirty-four dollars less to get a six set of markers that are fiber castell versus six copic markers. So with that said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to subscribe, that would be amazing. My glasses keep falling. Please let me know what you'd like to see me do next. If you have products you'd like me to review that are art stuff. If you have characters that you'd like me to review. I'm planning on doing a video game series coming up. A uh, movie series of my favorite movies. Just kind of different things like that where I'll be doing art related to that. I'm also planning an art zone um, series of videos that will be coming up and they will be more about, I do, I have done conventions, I do um, publishing my books and other things like that. So if that's something that interests you guys and is something you guys would want to see, here, let me, now I'm back to me. For a few minutes I'm back to me. But if that's something that would interest you, any of those ideas, comment below. It really helps me know what you guys would be interested in seeing, what you want to see more of on the channel. And so I can give you content that you guys enjoy because i that's what weekly art inspiration is supposed to be, is to help you guys stay creative, um, stay inspired, and, and keep being amazing and keep continuing to, you know, get better at your craft and what you love doing, which is what I personally do. And so that's what I, I hope to inspire and do and help you guys with. So let me know about any of those. Thanks again for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon wherever it is. And if you would like, there are some more videos over here. Depending on what time this comes out, I don't know how many subscribers we're at. We're almost to 50 at the moment. So if we are at 50, that's great. I will have a new prize coming very soon. If we are still reaching 50, remember that this little guy will be given away to one of you awesome subscribers when we hit there. So just remember you're amazing, guys. I absolutely love you and keep staying inspired. Have a great day, guys.